Hello everyone, Sigs here, and welcome back to Raft. Uh, so we're picking up where we left off last time, right at Balboa Island here, which is the next story island that we need to clear. So um, this is a very large island. There's a lot of unique resources on it. We can get bees for the first time. Uh, there's a lot of bears that we're going to have to fight, and we can find the blueprints for the uh, biofuel stuff, so like the biofuel processor and the fuel pipes and all that kind of stuff, and then we can use that biofuel back here to fill up our uh, fuel tanks for our engines so that we don't have to keep burning through all of our planks which is good because we need our planks to finish building out our raft. It's definitely looking a little shoddy with all the missing foundation tiles. But anyway, that's what we're going to do here. So we just want to make sure that we're prepared for it. I believe we ended the last section uh, getting, getting pretty well set up for it. So we have an extra bow. We have an extra spear to fight anything that we run into. We have an extra hook if we need to gather. And we have an extra axe because I, I do think there's a lot of trees on this island that I'm going to want to harvest for the planks in addition to doing like the main story objectives. Now, one thing I want to do if possible, I just want to make some more arrows. Um, I'm not sure how much they stack. And I didn't want to have too many because I didn't want to taking up too much space in my inventory. But I think I'm going to need more than what I have, so... Okay, they stack to 30, so we'll do two stacks worth. I think that's fine. Getting a little low on metal, actually, so I'll have to stop off and get some somewhere. Um, also low on planks, so... Uh, what do we do? We do one more. Like so. I'll need to get some more feathers as well. Um, but that's plenty of arrows, and then we have our sweep net here as well to catch the bees on this island that we're going to need to make our biofuel. Uh, just taking a peek for any seagulls. It does not look like there are any. Um, I'm going to harvest the llamas real quick. So we've been harvesting these llamas for their wool uh, because wool is one of the best resources to put into the compactors to get trash cubes. Uh, and then we can trade those trash cubes at the trading posts for all kinds of stuff. So... Um, hopefully after we're done here, we can go find some trading posts. Something I haven't really done yet in this playthrough. Um, and I'm just kind of stalling now because, uh, it's only midday. What I'd like to happen is for it to be night so that I could sleep and then go in with like a full day's worth of daylight. Uh, when it gets dark on this island, it gets pretty hard to see and pretty hard to navigate. Very easy to get lost, so... I'd rather go in, you know, with as much time as possible before it gets dark. So why don't we cook some fish? Let me double check because I forgot. The shark bait takes either herring or pomfret, so we'll cook a mackerel. Whoops. So we'll just get a little more food cooking here. So we're going to need to eat some before we actually go to the island. So we'll do that, and then... Yeah, I think I'm just going to wait until it's night time, so I'll go and just do a little little excursion here. I might actually just check out this reef and grab some resources. I mean, like, yeah, like, there's some copper right there. Um, and I think I see a couple trees I can cut that are really close, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a few resources as we wait for it to be night time before we start our expedition in proper. I think I can cut these trees. I'm not sure if they're too big. Ah, they are too big. So there's smaller ones that I can cut. These? Yeah, these I can cut. So these just give, like, traditional planks, like the same kind of planks as all the other trees. Um, even though they're technically a different kind of tree, they do give uh, pine cones, and I believe this gives uh, birch seed, potentially. So I'm going to hang on to just a few of those, and then I could uh, plant that type of tree on the raft. So it's a good way to have, like, you know, trees available to cut down on the raft for extra planks while I'm out on the sea and don't have access to trees any other way. Um, honestly, it's kind of unnecessary, though, because when I'm out on the sea, I can just collect planks through the, uh, the catch nets that I've set up. So it's going to be more cosmetic than anything, just to have some decorative trees around the raft. But, um, 
I want to hang on to the pine cone and the birch seed anyway. Um, I don't want to go too far up just yet. Just seeing if there's any, like, quick trees I can grab. Alright, there's a chicken. That's one of the other things that we're going to want to do while we're here. Um, I don't remember exactly how much uh, explosive goo and explosive powder I have to make the canisters to be able to catch the animals. But um, there's probably a few animals on this island, and I'm definitely not opposed to capturing them while I'm here. Uh, llamas would be the first priority. Again, just for more wool, for more trash cubes, for more trading. Um, but I will eventually have uses for the milk that you get from the goats, as well as the eggs that you get from the chickens. So, oh, there's a shark attack. See if I can save this foundation. Just so. Get that healed back up. At this point, if the shark wants to break any of these outside tiles, I, I don't even really care as long as he doesn't break a tile with something important on it. And then once I get the raft fully built out, I'll armor the outside edge so that he can't, uh, can't even destroy any. So, yeah, we only have one net canister. So let me see if I can make a few more. And then I'll probably explore the reef for a little bit until it's nighttime. So what do we need to make a net launcher, or a net canister? Explosive powder, stone, and rope. We have plenty of stone, we have plenty of rope, so the limiting factor is going to be... Okay, so we have four explosive goo, so we could potentially make four canisters. Um, I don't think there's many other uses for this explosive goo, so I might as well just cook it all and turn it all into canisters. Now, I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to burn too many planks because if I need to come back and like craft a new tool or something um, actually I guess it doesn't matter anymore if there's going to be trees on the island that I can just harvest then it doesn't really matter I was trying to conserve them in case I needed them to make tools and other stuff but honestly I think I have plenty at this point so cook a little more food again just kind of stalling until it is time to go to sleep. So we're letting that cook. Let me take a quick peek at the reef under here. I know the shark is right there, so might make it a little difficult to actually get any of this, but I mean there's some free scrap here, some free clay. I know I saw this copper over here. I think I definitely want. There's uh, there's probably a few other reefs like this around the island, but I'm not going to spend too much time exploring them. After this section, we're going to be looking for trading post islands specifically, and there's going to be a lot of reefs on those islands. So we can stop off and harvest anything we need in that section of the game when we're going to all those islands. But I will probably take a peek if I happen to just like be right next to the water anyway at any time that I'm exploring here. I'll take a quick peek for metal, um, but it's not really any reason to spend a ton of time down here otherwise. So the sun is starting to set. Oh, there's the shark. Watch out. Yeah, he got me. Um, I will be able to sleep soon. So let me just stash all this stuff that I made away. This goes in there, and this goes in here. So our powder's done. Let's make uh, one, two, three, four. Again, I don't see any reason to hold on to the explosive powder for anything else at the moment. And I think I'm just going to go grab that chicken because he's right there. That way I don't have to worry about it later. Uh, hunger and thirst getting pretty low. I just want to keep it above that uh, ooh, bunch of stone here. Let's pick that up. Why not? Um, I do want to keep the hunger above that hash mark there so I don't get slowed and start losing health. But uh, I want to sleep before I replenish it. Because when I sleep, it's going to go down anyway, so I don't want to, like, fill the bar and then sleep and then have it go back down and have to refill it again. So hopefully I can get all this done before um, I run out of hunger there. 
But let's find this chicken again. We definitely don't want to miss. Because these canisters are rare resources right now. So I don't know how... F is that him there? Let's see, see how hard it is to see when it's dark out? Maybe it's not so hard for you on the recording, but it definitely is for me. So, boom. Got him. All right. Pick him up. Uh, name him something cluck. Sure, that's a name for a chicken. Uh, we're just going to go throw him in the pen with the llamas for now. Um, and again, there may be other animals on this island, which I'll definitely want to grab while I'm here because those are fairly rare and hard to find. Um, but I think I'm going to leave the canister and the net launcher on the boat to save inventory space for other stuff and then like after I fully clear out this island if I can remember where the animals were I'll just go back and grab them quickly before we leave but I just wanted to grab this one because we're, we're kind of killing time as it is and he was right there at the start so uh, chicken goes right in here looks like that has to be rewatered and I'm gonna need another grass patch there to feed him, so I might as well make that real quick. Looks like my hunger is getting to that threshold. I'm just going to eat a quick little um, mango, I suppose. Just to, you know, shark's attacking somewhere. Looks like sounds like he got a tile. I'm not sure which one, but again, I can always build it out later, so that's all right. Um, might as well just throw some copper in here. Um, yeah, dirt patch. Let's see what I need to make that. So, where's that up here? Grass plot, two dirt, six planks and four plastic. So, plastic planks and dirt's in here. I'll make one. I'm gonna need more later, but we'll start with one is fine. And that does actually remind me, maybe I should bring the shovel. I'm not sure that there's dirt on this island, but if there is, I'm definitely going to want to get it. So, that's something I'll bring with me, even though it's taking up a whole extra inventory spot. So, we'll do that. Boom. Bring a fresh shovel with us. Now, I need somewhere to... I guess there's fine, just to put these extra seeds that we're hanging on to. Um, and then let me just clear out my inventory, and then we'll sleep, and then we'll top up our food and hunger. And then we will go explore the island. So get that down for the chicken. We'll start laying us some eggs soon. Looks like these guys are ready for one more shear before I go. One, two, and three. Perfect. This will need water. Store all that. Okay. Um, just empty out my inventory like that and like that and like that. Um, I have an extra bow, I have arrows, I have weapons, I have tools. Uh, I did want to make more armor. Unfortunately, I didn't have the leather for it. Um, I will be able to get leather from fighting bears while I'm here. So maybe I come back and make some armor after one of the trips. But for now, let's sleep. So now the sun should be coming up. So let's top up our hunger and our thirst. And let's go quick so we have as much daylight as possible here. Because I don't want it to get dark and for me to get lost. Alright. I don't need this bottle either. I could leave it here in a chest, but I'm just going to bring it with me. We did make that backpack last time too, which gives us quite a bit of additional inventory space, which is nice. Um, Alright, so let's go. Let's head into the island. Jeez, trying to run forward with one hand while taking a sip of my coffee. Uh, got a little stuck there, but... Anyway, here we go. So, I do have like a little kind of checklist guide pulled up of like what we have to do here. So, basically, I don't know if I can see it here. Yeah, I don't think I have the map yet. But there's going to be these, like, relay stations. I 
And I need to go to all the relay stations to gather all of the stuff that I need from here. So we're gonna go this way first, right? Yeah. I guess. This is relay station four first. Doesn't necessarily matter, I don't think. Some of them I have to do in a certain order, but um, let's head this way. If I see trees, I'll stop and cut them. See, I'm already confused because the little checklist guide that I'm looking at says to go right first, but then it also says to go to Relay Station 4 first, and it's, this is saying Relay Station 4 is to the left, so uh, I'm a little confused. But we'll keep going this way. Now, there are going to be bears here, so I need to be very careful. Let's head up this way. There's a locker here. It might have something in it. Ah, okay, we got the saw. Which is one of the key items. There's a bear. I'm thinking I'm gonna fight it. Oh, it's gonna come fight me anyway. Oh boy. So we gotta dodge the swipes. Like that. Oh boy. Look out. And just keep poking him. Oh, almost got stuck on something there. Ouch. Oh boy. Taking a lot of hits to get rid of this guy. Alright, we got him. So our armor does have durability, so I... I do want to try to get hit as little as possible so I don't burn through all the durability on the armor. I mean, that is what it's for, but I'd rather have it more for, you know, like, emergency situations to save my life than anything else. Um, getting some wild berries here, which are going to be to distract the mama bear on this island later, you'll see. Did find a little cave with dirt. Now, these mushrooms are good for one of the uh, the best cooking recipes you can do later. I don't really have a cooking station set up yet, but I want to start hoarding these mushrooms so that later when I want to make the really good food to take with me on excursions, I'll have it. And we get some dirt out of this cave. Nothing else in here it doesn't look like, but... Good amount of dirt to make some more grass patches to feed any more animals that we may find. And then we'll continue on our way. I think again we're heading this way towards Relay Station 4. Keeping an eye out for anything else along the way. It's a big island. Very easy to get lost. Oh, there's a goat. So, if I can remember how to get back here, then I will probably come back for that goat, just so I have at least one of them and have access to the milk that they provide. So, I want to remember that. Okay, now this is a bridge. And I'm going to need a drop to get across. So, I could shoot an arrow at it, but... In the interest of saving the arrow, I think I can just throw a rock? Okay, a little higher, maybe? Hey, there we go. Whoa. So that drops the bridge, and we can go across. And I think these are... Yeah, those are not harvestable. Those are too large. So this is like the first relay station here, so we'll go, go up there and check that out. Climbing on up. Okay. So what do we got? Nothing out there. Nothing back here. So let's go in. Ah, so there's our first uh, blueprint. So we'll turn the power on. I think that's what we have to do. We have to go to all the relay stations, yeah, and turn the power on on them. So that's one of three. Uh, we got a hammer, which we're going to need for something later. 
Uh, the blueprint for the fuel pipes. So that's after we make the biofuel processor. I believe we can have um, pipes that just pipe the fuel directly into the fuel tanks. Uh, nobody up here, nothing up here. It looks like some people were staying here, but they're not here now. Um, and then we have a couple of notes. So that's going to give us like some story. Uh, the kids are insight. fighting. Oh, so I'll let these roll in case anyone wants to hear them. I found her wrench out by the clearing. I've been calling out on the radio. Please, I just want to talk, sis. Miranda is screaming outside. I hope her and Henry make up soon. All right, whatever that's about. Uh, then I'll we'll grab this last one. Oh, that's not a... Oh, I think, I think that's the map. Yeah, there we go. So we're up here on four, and then we have to go to two and six, turn them all on which I believe opens up the last one or something like that. And this is where the, the mama bear is, so I need to watch out for that. Um, after Relay Station 4, the next place that we're going to want to go to, I suppose, will be the mama bear cave, where I can get the uh, machete, which I need to clear out vines to get to some other areas here. So let's walk down. I'm not going to jump all the way down and I think there's some more stuff over here so let's check that out before we leave getting a little low on thirst and hunger so I might as well just keep that topped up for now nothing down here really I think there's bees over here maybe not oh there's honey so that's one of the things that I'm going to need to get uh, to... I think that's to make the beehives that the bees have to live in. So I need to gather all the honey I can find to make the highest number of beehives possible. So no, no bees, it doesn't look like. Just honey, but that's still a good resource there. Um, doesn't look like I'm missing anything back here, I don't think. Just double checking. Ah, uh, there's some berries. So I do need more berries. In order to slow down the mama bear. So I'll grab those. Doesn't look like there's anything down there. Ooh, definitely don't want to fall. Let me just take a quick peek over this ridge. Anything down here? Doesn't really look like it. Alright, so now we're going to head back. Let's see where the sun's at. Looks like it's almost getting ready to set. So I may even want to head back to the raft for now and then sleep again and then come back in when we have a full day. I guess it's about midday so I maybe have enough time to do another relay. Another relay station. Yeah, I definitely don't want to fall. Ooh, as I say that I slide off the edge. Would have been bad. Some more planks we can grab. There's not as many cuttable trees as I thought there would be unless I'm just missing them. Not not noticing as I'm walking by them, which there's probably been quite a few that I've walked by and just didn't notice, but... And there's the goat. I gotta remember that this is where the goat is. Um, I don't think I want to go back this way yet, because I think that's where I'm going to need the machete. I think I want to go back to the, the mama bear cave. So let's head back the way we came. Oh, that bear respawned. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Poke. Dodge. Poke. Dodge. Poke. Oh. Look at that. A couple more hits. Oh, boy. Jeez, this thing's have a lot of health. It takes a lot of durability off of my spear to do that. 
Spear only has like one hit left in it now. So whenever I fight the next thing, I'm gonna have to immediately switch to another spear. You know what I can do? I can get rid of this uh, fuel pipe blueprint. I don't need it. Once I pick it up, I learn the ability to craft it. I don't actually need the blueprint, so... Um, now I'm all turned around. Okay, we came from up there. And then before that, we came from... I think it was that way? God, I'm all lost already. <laughs> it's a big island. I get lost on it pretty easily, but... I basically want to head back to where... Like that kind of first fork in the road was. Let's take a peek down here. There's this little valley down there. Doesn't look like there's really much, so I don't think there's any reason to go there. And it looks like the sun is starting to set too, so I am going to want to hightail it back to the raft. Which would be easier if I actually knew what direction it was in, but... Head kind of this way. If I could take a different path back to the raft than the one that I took to get here, I could kind of double up on my exploring as well, so... I think it's, I think it's back that way. I think. But first I'm going to check out down here. Ah, so there's some bees. So, I gotta get them with this sweep net before they sting me. That didn't work. Did that take a durability? Whoa, that's a bear. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Hello, Mr. Bear. One poke breaks the spear. I'll use this other spear now. Keep dodging. Got hit there. Oh god, I got hit again. This armor is uh, nice. It's definitely reducing the damage I take. But I don't want to burn through all the durability. Um, Alright, took care of him. Got kind of stuck on that rock there. Uh, I got a bear head, which I could just put up as a decoration. Um, I still want to try to get these bees. Not sure why that's not working. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we got five bee jars. Bees in a jar. I don't remember exactly how many you need to make a beehive, but the more that we get, the better. And we want to take their honey as well. Again, to make the beehives so that the bees have a place to live. And then I believe the beehives uh, continually make honey which is what I need to make biofuel, so... Um, grab all the honey that we can find here. And I don't think that they respawn. Like, the bears are on, like, a set respawn timer every, every however many minutes. They respawn, and I could fight them over and over if I wanted to. I think the bees don't. I think I would need to, like, leave and come back for the honey or the bees to respawn, so... I just want to find every node every spawn point of them at least once. Is this cuttable? This is, so might as well. I think it's a good source of planks. I think it's worth the worth the time. So I just need so many planks for everything. I know I get a lot on the on the seas while I'm sailing with my catch nets, but I think this is more efficient as far as getting just planks goes. Yeah, we're already stacking up a lot of them, so... Uh, I don't think that one's cuttable. I don't really see anything else down here. So let's head back... ...this way. Uh, hunger and thirst also getting low, too. I have food and water on me. I'm gonna see if I can make it back to the raft and sleep before, uh... ...before I need to use them, though. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the way. Oh, jeez. Another bear. Oh, goodness. Oh, what am I stuck on? Look out. There we go. God, I'm gonna have to make another spear, too. I'm just burning through durability. It takes so many hits. Whoa! That was crazy. I haven't seen one do that before. Oh, 
that's not good. There we go. We got them, though. Um, we're getting a good amount of leather from this, so I can make more armor. Uh, we're also getting a lot of meat, which is a great food source, so I'm totally happy to fight any of these bears that I see as we go through here. Uh, what do we got here? A little campsite? Henry's stuff keep out. Doesn't look like there's anything here, though. So let's keep moving. I think we're getting close to where the raft was. Some more planks here. I feel like we're we're almost gonna actually just make it through the whole night. Um, is this our is our raft right here? Yeah, that's the beach. So I think our raft is right there. Ooh, don't want to go down that way though. Let's go down the hill. That should be okay. Good. Um, yeah, this is all looking a little familiar, I think. Yeah, we almost made it through the whole night just fine as it is, but I just want to, since I'm right here anyway, just want to clear out my inventory so I can pick up more stuff on the next trip. And I might as well stock up on the food and hunger too, so... We made it, did one trip successfully, so that's a good start. Up we go. Now, let's uh, start dumping out our inventory here. Good amount of planks, that's good. Nothing, oh we got a hinge somehow, that's good. Oh, shark attack, back here. Just get him off. I should repair that one because it's awfully close to the, the engine, but I already put my planks away and I'm feeling lazy, so not even going to. <laughs> Stash our stuff in there. We might as well uh, cook some of this meat. So we're probably going to need more as we go here. Now, um, I forget where I was putting the leather. I think the leather goes in there. But what I'm going to do with that leather, I'm going to take some of this wool and make some more armor. So these guys are ready to be shorn again. So, where's this last one? Whoops. Right there. We got an egg from our chicken. That's water. Oh, need more water. I feel like it's going to be daytime by the time I'm done doing all this. It's like I didn't even really need to, to sleep, but yeah, it's about to be daytime. <laughs> That's all right. Um, do that. Shorn, sheared, whatever the word is, all those guys. Um, and then, let me just make sure, yeah, so I can learn the fuel pipe. I don't need the blueprint for it anymore. And then let's see about that armor. So where would that be? Maybe here. Uh, leather body armor and leather greaves. And we already have the helmet. So that's a full set of leather armor. So it's really gonna reduce the damage that we take by quite a lot, which is nice. Um, yeah, and the sun's already coming up, so I might as well just get ready to go. Top up our hunger. I'm going to take the meat with me this time. Oops, out of, out of planks on that, so we'll load that back up to finish cooking. And let's just clear out our inventory before we head back. I'm almost tempted to bring this with me to get that goat, but I think I'm, I think I'm not. Uh, we'll put our bee jars and our honey in here for now. Get our shears put away. Um, I also want to put that egg in there. I'll need more chests up here eventually, but... For now, that's fine. Haven't been seeing a lot of seagulls when I come up to... Might need to move those nests at some point, because it's a really good source of food. Uh, cook the last little bit of that meat. We'll take the meat with us instead of the steak, since we have more of it. Have this bear head trophy, I guess, can go in there with the other heads. Gotta do something about all these palm leaves at some point. I'm gonna clear a little space in this chest just because I know I have this one. 
Um, why does stuff keep getting equipped? Oh, because I can only have boots or flippers, one or the other. These flippers are about to break anyway, but I'll save them for, for something else. And then we can get our leather in there now. Um, planks can go away. I think we're good. So, oh, there's a seal like I was just talking about. And that reminds me too, I think I'm gonna want another spear, just based on how much durability I was losing on this previous trip. So, drumsticks in there. What do we need to make a spear? We need planks, rope, metal, and bolts. So, one, two, three, one bolt. Grab these planks, and the rope is in that chest, so there we go. Got a fresh spear. Put the planks away. That meat's gonna finish cooking. Save the feathers in that one. Um, okay, and then I think we're pretty much good, so... Just fill up with water. Get all this going. We have tools. Those guys are gonna be good. There will be more wool when I get back. We have our armor. We have plenty of food. That food's gonna cook while we're away. Um, and the sun pretty much just came up, so I think we're good to go. So, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna take another sip of my coffee and see if I get stuck again. This time I'll point my camera up so maybe I don't get stuck. Alright, so I think the next step was to go to where the mama bear is and uh, raid her cave and I can get a machete which I can use to clear some vines to get to some other stuff on this island. So I think it was roughly this way. I know I can check this map. So I came in from here so then the mama bear is just off to the left. I believe is what that's saying. I'm going to quickly check up here because I haven't been up this way yet. And I'm looking for bees, mostly. I want to get all the bees before we leave. Also just looking for more planks, because why not? And if I could fight some more bears and get some more leather, and mostly the meat, then I think that would be good as well. So, um... Nothing up here. Looks like there's some stuff down there, though, so... Let's loop around this way. This is a cuttable tree. Alrighty. Hmm... I guess I'll hop off here. Some more berries, which are good. So that we can distract the mama bear multiple times if we need to. There's really nothing down here. It's just this one magical stump. Seems like there should be like a sword coming out of it or something. This big clearing with absolutely nothing else here. Um, Alright, well, I'll keep going back this way then. I'm really surprised. I thought there'd be like bees or something down here. Maybe over here? Hmm. Alright, there's- okay, there's a bear and it looks like there's bees. Oh yeah, lots of bees. Okay, here we go. I found the honey pot, as it were. Unintended. Oop, that's a miss. Dodge. Poking him. God, this spear's about to break, too. I mean, I'm glad I made that fresh one, but... Ah, maybe I should have made two. My gosh. Alrighty. Some more leather. And some more meat. And I want these bees. These are hard to get. Oh, of course. As soon as I say that, I get it on the next hit, but... I don't know if you have to be close, or their hitbox is just a little weird, or what it is, but... It just seems a little tricky to get them sometimes. Come on, bees. 
Hey, alright. And then, is there any more honey here? I would think there would be more, but it's looking like maybe that was it. Ah, oh, there we go. I definitely need, I think, the honeycomb. I don't remember exactly how it works. We'll find out when we go back. I'm just wondering, like, how many bees to honeycomb ratio it takes to make, like, an actual beehive to then keep producing honey. One other thing, too, is um, in order for the bees to make honey, I need to have flowers planted nearby. Um, and I haven't been gathering flower seeds at all. So, at some point, I'm going to need to stop off on some little islands and get some flower seeds. I was kind of hoping I would find some here, but it doesn't look like it. Um, is this... Okay, this must be the back side of the island. So it looks like looks like the beach we came in from, basically, but... Oh, okay. So there's the mama bear. And this is her trough, so I'm going to put wild berries in there. Now, I can kill her and get some special items. Oh boy. But she does a lot of damage. Oh no. Oh, I really don't want to die. Um, okay. So I had read that you could stand on the opposite side of the... Oof, um, whatever you call that thing. The little barrel there. And safely hit her without her hitting you back. But that didn't seem to work. So the other strategy here is to... She only goes so far away from that barrel before she runs back to it. So if I stand just kind of at that range, I can shoot her. And then as she runs back, I am safe. Now, it takes a lot of arrows to kill her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy crap. Looks like she came a little further. That time than I was expecting, and I took some damage. Um, yeah, so if I stand right at the correct range, then I should be able to just get a bunch of free hits on her, but it does take, I think, like 60 arrows, which is partly why I made so many. Um, I can kind of pick my arrows back up while she's, like, resetting, but uh, that's what I just tried to do there, and it didn't seem to work, so that's really risky. Um... I just, I don't want to miss, because if it takes 60 arrows, I only made 60, so... I cannot miss a shot, which I already have. I want to see... I think I can safely just grab the arrow there, and I think what I can do is run up... Oh, yeah. So while she's distracted with the berries... Ooh, Jesus! No! No, not like this! Please, not like this! Oh, Lord. Okay, holy shit. Well, I gather a bunch of my arrows back, so as long as I'm really safe now, I should have enough arrows to take her out. Um, but I missed. But if I take one more hit, I think I'm dead. So I'm going to need to wait for my health to come back up. I just don't know how long the berries are going to last. I know after a while they time out. And at that point, she'll chase me a lot farther, which could be bad. Damn, I keep missing on that back shot when she's going back, but we'll just keep doing poke damage and play it safe. This is pretty safe. We hope that our bow doesn't break either, because uh, if it does, we'll have to resort to using the spear, which does not sound like a good idea. Um, the reason I want to do this, though, is I get a trophy of the mama bear head, which I can put on the raft, so it's just purely cosmetic, but it's kind of cool. Um, there's also an achievement, like a Steam achievement or an in-game achievement, whatever you want to call it, for uh, defeating the Mama Bear, so I figured I should do it for the heck of it. Um, look at all those arrows in her, my gosh. Gotta be getting close now, I haven't been counting, but uh, if my health comes up a little bit more, enough to where I could eat two hits potentially, I want to run in and grab those arrows back. I don't want to lose them. I think they start despawning out of her body after a while, and it did take quite a bit of resources to make this many arrows. I'd rather hold on to them. Hey, there we go. So, that's the mama bear. Go like this. Gonna be should be a lot of leather and a lot of meat, and the mama bear head, so that's pretty cool. 
And that should buy us enough time to go in and explore. Hey, there we go, and get our arrows back. Um, so we lost 12 arrows in that process. I guess 10 if I do that and pick up those two. So not bad. Cost us basically a bow and um, and 10 arrows. And then here's our cave. So kind of the same deal as the other one. It's got dirt in it, which is awesome. Need lots and lots of dirt long term to make enough grass plots to feed all my animals. And then again, these mushrooms, which are going to be used for uh, crafting one of the best food recipes. And then here we have a machete, I believe. Which is takes a long time to loot that, but... Oh, wow. That had a bunch of random stuff in it. So that's cool. It's all good resources that I need. Um, and then a machete. And then we also get the blueprint for the machete, which, again, we can just toss that blueprint. We don't need it to be able to craft it, but I can then craft more machetes as needed. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how good it is as a weapon compared to the spear, um, but you can definitely use it to clear, like, vines and, and other things that you can't clear otherwise, so I do need it for that reason. Um, this looks like the path down to this little beach down here. Um, it's getting to be night, so I am going to want to just go back to the raft, I think. And my inventory is pretty full, so I want to just unload my inventory and sleep until it's daytime before I come back. But I'm just going to take a quick peek since I'm here. Like I was saying at the beginning, I don't really want to like stay here and harvest any of this stuff. There's no need to do that right now, but... I'm just going to look real quick and see if there's not any metal, because if I could just grab a few chunks of metal and let it cook in the smelters while I'm exploring here, then that would be cool. Um, but it doesn't look like there is. I thought maybe there would be like a chest or something too. I could have some more good resources, so I figured it was worth a quick peek. Um, it's really hard to see because it's dark. Oh, there we go. So, a couple pieces of metal. I think that's worth just grabbing since we were right here. And then... Oh, there's more down there. I'll go grab that. I need air first. So let's get some air. Let's go down. Keep looking on the way down for any more. Oh, there's three there. Okay, so five metal. That's good. Also, picking up from that crate, the bolts and hinges are good. Anytime I get a bolt and a hinge, I'm really happy because... Uh, I mean, it's basically the same as getting a metal, but it's already cooked, so it saves you the planks from having to cook it. Um, and then they're using, like, everything, all kinds of recipes, use uh, bolts and hinges, so I'm always happy when we get those. Um, there's our Mama Bear Head trophy. I think I can actually put it on my head. Um, there's no third-person view that I know of, so I wouldn't be able to show what it looked like, but if I was playing with other players, then they would see me with a big old mama bear head. Um, as it stands, I think it's just going to be a trophy that's going to go on on a wall somewhere, on a trophy board back on the raft at some point. Uh, but let's head back to the raft. I definitely want to empty out my inventory. I don't want to leave any items behind. So let's see if we can find our way back in the darkness here. Um, no idea. So this is, I think we're here, but we could be here. Mama Bear was right there, so... Um... Oh, here's, we were here before. There's that little, uh, locker that I opened. So, okay, and there's where the, the tall tower was? I think that's the one with the bridge. Yeah, that's the one with the bridge. Alright, so this is where we were before. So the goat is like over there, which I need to try to remember to get that goat before I leave. Um, so I think this is kind of the long way around. I went this way to get back last time, which I think is like the long way around. I think maybe this is a little shortcut. What's up here though? Did I come up here already? Was this a note? Betrayal. Oh, a bunch of Father notes. The man. He would leave us behind. <laughs> we can't have that. Hmm. Father has to make a decision. I know it won't be me. Not enough boat for all of us. I am 
sorry, Adelaide. Hmm, okay, so I don't know what's going on with those notes, what this guy's up to, but um, I found a light bulb, which I, I think is something we need actually at one of the relay stations, so I'm glad I just randomly found that. Um, is that going to be the fall damage that kills me? Let's slide down the side here. Okay. Um, and now I'm totally disoriented, but let's head... Okay, there's where the mama bear was. And I came from, like, around, so I think if I go around this way, that should lead me right back to the raft. So I think it's down here and to the right. Oh, it seems like I'm moving so slowly, too. This is sprint speed, so, like, this is maximum speed. Um, but yeah, there's the raft. Alright, perfect. So, we'll empty our inventory, we'll restock on food and hunger, and then we'll head back out for the remaining uh, two relay stations, I believe. Good view of our raft there. Looking pretty hideous until I finish, you know, filling in the, the square shape that I'm going to make, but... You know, it is what it is. We got a, a good little base of operations started, if nothing else. Uh, let's look out for the shark. We're probably going to get a shark attack almost as soon as we land. So let me learn how to make the machete. And I'll get rid of the blueprint. Um, I didn't need to learn it uh, until I could safely get rid of the blueprint. I'm just, like, paranoid that some weird thing is going to happen and it's going to, like, glitch out and not let me learn it. So I just keep the, the blueprint to be safe. And we lost, uh, missed out on the seagull, so that was a pretty big whiff. But um, let's empty all this stuff out, keep our trophies in there. That stuff goes in there. Bolts go there. Um, any of this kind of stuff goes in there. Why don't I get this metal cooking while we are away, and then get this raw meat cooking. Uh, metal goes in there, ingots in there, and we have lots of meat. Save the raw meat for now. Uh, the rest of the planks can go away. Now uh, these guys are going to be ready for another shear, so I might as well hit that real quick. Grab the egg as well. Store all that. Store our honeycomb and our bee jar. Keep the sweep net with us. We got two spears. I think we must have got a spear from that uh, crate that we had opened. So that's cool. We'll keep the shovel in case we run into more dirt. Um, all right, I think that looks good inventory-wise, as far as, like, what we want to bring back to the islands. Now it's just going to be sleeping, and then refilling hunger and thirst, and then we go back for the next relay station, so it's a good little trip there. All right, so the next place we're going to want to go after we got the machete and fought the Mama Bear is, I believe, Relay Station 6. So... Yeah, I think we needed the machete to get to the 6th Relay Station. So now we have that. We can restock here on our Thirst. Refill the purifiers. And we'll get our hunger topped up before we go to... Oops, not the bow. Raw... Jesus. Raw meat goes in. Take the meat with us. Let's eat. I'm just gonna quickly check. I think because I slept, it like... Okay, never mind. Like, it, it advances time in the sense that I lose my, uh, my hunger and my thirst, but it doesn't advance time in the sense that, like, the wool grows or the crops grow or anything like that, so... A little strange how that works, but... Anyway, um, I think we're good, so let's go back, and we're going to go for Relay Station 6 now. So we're going to want to go up, 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 and then left and around, basically, so... Let's head on back. Get out of the water there, and let's go. Alrighty. 
Alrighty, a bunch of fresh daylight. So we can be out here for quite a while. There's a bear. I'm actually going to go out of my way a little bit to get this bear. Just the, the meat is such a good food source. And it's one of the more limited opportunities to, to get more leather. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he came flying for me. Holy crap. Thankfully, I caught a glimpse of his fur through the berry bush. Otherwise, that would have been quite the ambush. He did that crazy one jazz, too. Uh, this is going to break in one more hit. So... Dodge, quickly swap, and then dodge again. Nope. Not quick enough. Alright. Takes care of that bear. And then, I was heading this way before I got distracted, so... Again, I think if I come straight up from the raft, it looked like I wanted to keep going... Just, like, back, and then left and up and around. So, keep going this way. I guess I could just follow the signs, because that's where the mama bear was, I believe. And then this should say Relay Station 6, yeah, is this way. Um, maybe up here? I'm gonna try to go a little different way too, like the long way around. Find anything I haven't already found. Um, I see this is where I've already been though. And that was Relay Station 4, so I must be like here, so I need to hook it more to the left. I should also make note that this is the way I'm going to want to come back to get the goat. Um, huh, no, it does say it's that way. This is what? This is down to the beach where I just explored. So it is this way. I think maybe it's just to the left from where the goat was instead of to the right, kind of. Okay, so there's the, the locker we remember. This says it's still that way. What's over here? Oh, there's the, that's the bear in the bear cave that I've already looted. But why don't we just take out the bear for the meat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That lunge is terrifying. Jeez. Oops, got a little greedy there, but... Oh my god, why is this one lunging so much? There we go. Seeming, uh, seeming too, like, when he gets close, I can get a hit in as I'm dodging, so I can actually kill them almost twice as, qu as quick. Um, so, should be doing that. And then let's get stuck on this sign for no good reason. And then head up this way. I think it's up this way to the left. Doesn't make a ton of sense. Maybe this is where our raft actually is? I don't know. I'm confused and a horrible navigator. There's the goat. Four was... This... I don't... Dude, I don't know. I don't even know. Thought I knew, but now I have no idea what I'm even looking at when it comes to that map, but... Um, this way we have not gone yet. There's some more bees, which is awesome. Let's grab them. Come here. Got them. Um, looking for honey. Is there more bees? Oh, yeah. Come on down. There we go. See, that one only gave us four. So not as lucky on that one. A um, little bit more honeycomb. A little bit more honeycomb. Um, this looks like it leads to somewhere. Thinking it's up there. What's down here, though? This looks like a little secret. Oh, look. I don't know what this is, but it says... Uh, Rosa is always sometimes mostly right, except when Diana says otherwise, Lydia makes the rules unless Diana says otherwise. Okay, I don't know who any of those people are or what's going on here, but looks like a little couch hangout. With, uh, not, not much of a view, but... Man, if this was a different type of game, this would be like the perfect spot for a hidden chest or something, but I don't think that's really a thing here, so... Just a little Easter egg, I suppose. Nothing of tangible value otherwise, so we'll leave that behind. Keep heading along the path. Hmm. 
think this whole area... Yeah, that's Relay Station 6. So that's where I want to go. Let me go the way that I don't want to go first. Just to see if there's anything here before I leave it behind. Again, little secret paths that don't seem to actually lead to anything, so... Nothing there. Really surprising. It seems like the perfect spot to put, you know, a little something, but nothing there. We'll keep moving. Is this tree tropical? I think it is. Whoa, what am I hearing? Whoa, hello, Mr. Bear. Or Mrs. Bear, whatever you are. Oh, Lord. More meat, more leather. Go back to chopping this tree before we were so rudely interrupted. And let's see what's over here. Another tree. Axe is about to break, but we do have another. More berries we don't really need. I'm not sure if Mama Bear respawns. Even if she did, I don't think there's really much reason to fight her over and over. It's a good amount of leather and meat, but for the amount of arrows and bow durability that it takes, I think I'm better off just fighting these, these little bears. Ah, okay. I see the cave with the vines that I need the machete to get through, so uh, that breaks our axe. Get another one on. Did a big little loop here. Got everything, I think. There's one more tree I can cut right there. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, we went down that way. We did a little loop. We got all of that. Just get this one tree. There we go. A lot of planks. So after this section here on the island, I'm going to... I um, want to sail around and look for those trading post islands, and I'm going to want to build the raft out, like, hugely, or, like, as much as I can, so all these planks are incredibly valuable when it comes to building out the raft. So let's cut through the vines here with this machete. Looks like a mushroom. Ah, and some more dirt. So good thing we kept our shovel with us. That's good. More dirt. Awesome. And gonna need the machete again. Get all the way through the cave. We got a note. And there's the tower. Miranda is following, as always. No idea what's going on with uh, with this Bruno guy and all these other characters, but. Guess there were people on this island at some point. They seem to all be gone. So, I'll grab this tree because it's right here, and then we'll head up the radio tower. There's another radio tower right there. Relay station, I guess they're called, but. Anything down there? Not really. Alright, so let's head up. Up all the stairs. Another note. I asked Miranda, but she and Henry don't tell me anything. Oh, they are hiding something. Did they figure out there's only space for two of them on the boat? Mm. I've decided. I leave the triplets in charge of the remaining relay station. Bobby will take care of the bears. Yes, it's for the best. So many memories of this place. We'll find you, sis. I promise. Alright. Uh, I got Bruno's wrench there, so we have a lot of Bruno's items. We have his wrench and his saw and his hammer and all that. Um, looks like some free plastic here. A lot of free plastic. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a dude in here. Is that Bruno? That's Johnny. We'll talk to him in a second. Uh, there's the blueprint for the fuel tank that we'll need for the biofuel. Which is awesome. Turn our relay station on. So just one more to go. And let's talk to uh, Johnny here. 
body. Uh, yeah, could you be an angel and help me out a bit? Uh, I'd owe you big time. Oh, man. I would have been a goner without you. <laughs> Tip for future me. Bears are not cuddly. Say. No, they are not. You're after, would you? If you need some muscle on board, look no further. All right, yeah. Leave the heavy lifting to me. Alrighty, so we recruited Johnny. I think he's going to turn into a uh, <laughs> a beam of light, just like the uh, the lady that we recruited at the radio tower, who we got as a playable character. Um, I think it would be cool if they actually, like, came to your raft and did stuff, like you could assign chores to them or something, but... Pretty sure all it actually is, is you just can unlock their skin as, like, a playable character, so... Um, I found him, got him, got our relay station, and I'd say it's time to head back to the raft, probably. Ooh! Jeez. <laughs> I thought I was gonna fall to my death. Um, yeah, so the sun's setting here, let's head back to the raft so again very disoriented but we are this is relay station six so the raft i think is right down here or no it's over here maybe or there or there or there or there or there or there i don't know because <laughs> i don't know how to read this map but i think it's right here so um before i lose my mind any further trying to understand this thing let's just start heading back um, looks like a nice shortcut down there, but it also looks like I would die, so I'm not going to do that. I'll just go back the way we came. Could potentially, like, slide down the side and not take any fall damage, but I don't want to risk it. Wow, it is dark in here. That's why we don't like to be out at night. Could have made a headlamp to make it easier to see, but I feel like that would have been a waste of resources at this point. Um, I think... I think I know pretty roughly how to get back. We'll just go the way we came, which was down there. I just see a tree I'm going to grab real quick. Oh, and there's more bees. Hell yeah. So this is a little area over here that I haven't quite been to. So I'll grab that. Grab the bees. Awesome. Grab the honeycomb. More honeycomb here. Any more bees? Nope. Alright, so let's head back to the raft. Just plodding along. Pretty long walk, it looks like. Just double checking as we go for anything we may have missed. I think we've been doing a pretty good job of clearing out everything as we find it. I do want to come back for that goat. It may have been a. Eh, yeah, it may have been a good time to do it now. If I had had the net launcher in, the, in a canister with me, since I'm heading back to the raft this way anyway. But well, if we have to make just an extra trip to grab them, then that's fine. And then I think it should be to the left to get back to the raft, right? Maybe. All looks the same to me at this point. There's the other, there's the radio tower down there. There's a little valley down there. See, so yeah, I think it's this way and to the left. Probably a bear here somewhere, too, I should watch out for. I believe it's this way. I usually have a pretty good sense of direction, too, but for some reason, everything here kind of looks the same. Okay, good. So there's the raft. Um, I believe that the final uh, relay station radio tower thing that we need, this one, number two is right up there to the left. So we can quickly stop off at the raft, uh, restock, resupply. Um, 
I think I already looked down here, right? Didn't I do that right at the start? Just take a quick peek. Yeah, I don't see anything there. Um, and then we'll go back for the final relay station, and hopefully we have everything we need to unlock all the blueprints and everything else, since we, like, picked up the saw and the hammer and all that kind of stuff. I think, I think we have everything that we could possibly need. Um, I see a seagull there. Let's see if I can grab him real quick before the shark attack. Oh, my God. All right, at least we got that one. We'll get the meat. There's the shark attack is way out there. Oh my god, so he's he's already destroyed both of those end pieces then, which kind of stinks. Did he destroy my catch net? Didn't I have- I think he destroyed a catch net. So I think I had one here, so... That kind of stinks, but again, we'll, we'll build the raft out, you know, later as we get more resources. And then that will all be irrelevant, so let's just quickly stash everything that we got here. Um... Where are we at? Might as well get some meat cooking. I don't think we need the machete anymore, but I'll bring it with me just in case. Um, gotta let that finish. And get the bees put away, and I'm assuming these guys are ready for another shear. Yes, they are. So grab our wool, water our crops. Need some more water. Fill that up, refill the purifier, and finish watering here. I will eventually move that chicken over, um, because I think the chicken needs to eat a grass to lay an egg every time. Um, currently it doesn't matter because there's, you know, four plots and four animals, but eventually it's like I don't want to have to, I'm going to have more eggs than I need, and then I don't, like, want to have to keep replenishing that one grass patch just for an egg so I'll put them like in their own section and then if I'm like good on eggs I don't even have to worry about watering it um, but for now we'll, we'll keep stockpiling eggs I don't know if any of that even made any sense but I just want them to have their own pen basically grab the cooked meat get some more raw meat cooking stash all that um, let's make sure, again, that we can learn the fuel tank. Perfect. So we can store biofuel with that after we make it. And this is the hunt, the beehive here, so I'll need to research a bee jar to, to be able to learn how to make it. Um, and then there's honey, which we'll need to research a honeycomb to learn how to make, so we'll do that later. I can do all that kind of crafting and researching and that kind of stuff after I set off. So I'm like gathering items in my catch nets as I'm doing all this other crafting and stuff. So that's what we'll do after we're done here. Um, might as well just get some metal cooking because we always need metal ingots. Not sure if there's even enough planks in there. Do you have a good amount of planks from cutting down all those trees? So we'll load that up and... Looks like the sun's coming up again. It's like every time I come back to the raft to sleep so that I can get like a full, a full day's worth of sunlight in, um, the sun comes, comes up on its own anyway because of how long I'm taking. So um, I want to head out now while we have the sun to work with. So um, we cleared out our inventory. So we should be good to go. I think the only thing is I want to bring the net launcher and some canisters so i want to get that goat on the way back this time i think this should be the final trip um and if it is then i'll grab the goat and bring him back on the final trip so So let's see here. I gotta go to relay station number two next. I believe is the last one. It's the uh, yeah, the toxic pit relay station two, and then the ranger station. Okay, so let's head back this way. There might be one other stop after this relay station. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So let's head up here. I believe it's just up to the right. This is actually the closest one but I think I needed the stuff from the other ones first, so let's see. I 
think it's up the hill here. I have plenty of spears if we run into any more bears, which again, I'm not opposed to because the leather and the meat is always good to have. Would be totally fine with finding a few more trees to cut down too. Um, okay, this looks about right. That's pretty spooky. Oof, all right, so a toxic pit. Gonna have to jump onto all these, which start to sink as soon as, ooh, as, soon as I land on them. I turn, turned around to show you and then almost fell into the, the poison, but all right, we made it across. Taking a quick peek for anything over there. And this should be it. So there's the ranger station. This is the final relay station. So let's go up the uh, relay station first, I suppose. Like so. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Wow. Thought I was going to fall to my death right there. Oh, boy. How hard is it to walk up a staircase? Very hard if your name is six, apparently, but all right. Get some free plastic. That's always good. Need lots and lots of plastic going forward. Going to check out the outside here. Not seeing much else, so let's head in. This is the chillest station by far. Nice little lounge out here with a view and a you know, lattice grapevine type deal. Some extra plastic ago, and a note. My sister Astrid and I were put in charge of the ranger station on Balboa. We handled the bear population and kept the relay towers operation. All right, so there we go. This shift was meant to start weeks back, but the replacements never showed up. So I guess Bruno Henry suggested that I start writing things down after Astrid disappeared, so that I'm not feeling so lonely anymore. I guess Bruno was assigned to this island, and then uh, and nobody else showed up, and he started going crazy and writing notes down and leaving them all over the place, so those were the notes that we were finding. Um, but that's the third relay station, which is awesome, and that gives us the code 5640 for Caravan Town, which is the next story island we can go to. So that's awesome. Um, before we go, there was one other thing over here this um, ranger station, I believe it's called, so you go down and not fall to my death. Uh, where was it? Right over here? Yeah, there we go. You, if you lived here, your house is gone. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we got this, so yeah, we need that light bulb that we found to go into his head. I think that unlocks the door or something. And that allows us to go inside and get lots of plastic, which is cool. We get the final blueprint, I believe, here is the biofuel refiner. So that's how we actually make the biofuel that we can then put into the tanks. And then we can run it from the tanks uh, into the engines with the pipes that we found. And then I think there's a little secret here. So we found the hammer, the wrench, and the saw. Aha! which gives us an extra note. I don't know what that even does. Merry Christmas from nowhere, the Coria, ten, Coria Twins. Huh. Okay. I was thinking we would get, like, some kind of cool secret item or something, but I guess that's all we get is a little Easter egg. Uh, one more note, so let's... Oh, that's not even one that we listened to. That is a schedule. A Coria. Huh. So, just some kind of easter egg, a little more backstory about the various characters. Looks like there's a little secret up here. Crate. With some extra food in it. Uh, none of which are particularly useful to me right now, but... Um, I believe that that's it, so... Let me just double check here. We got the... Fuel tank, machete, fuel pump, and biorefiner. We got... All the honey and all the bees, I think. Uh, we saw all of the places that we needed to see. So I think we're pretty much good with this island. Um, so I want to go get that goat real quick. 
and I'll bring the goat back to the raft with me. Um, then we'll head back to the raft. We'll kind of organize everything that we picked up and we'll get ready to head off. So we unlocked a lot of really cool stuff. Whoa, almost overshot that one. So there's a lot of additional crafting that we can do um, to make new things for the raft. Um, and we're going to need the space to actually put that stuff. So I'm going to need to build out the raft. I'm going to need to learn how to make all of these things. And I want to look for trading posts uh, as well because there's a lot of stuff I can get from there that I haven't gotten yet. So that'll kind of be what's up next. Is going to be sailing around looking for trading post islands while gathering resources in our catch nets and building all the cool stuff that unlocked. Assuming that this bear doesn't kill us before we get a chance to do any of that. So, okay, got him. Again, if I run into another couple bears, you know, another bear or two, before I get out of here, I'd be totally fine with that. Just to get the leather and meat, because it's one of the best sources of it. Um, you can always come back to this island as well if you want to. All you have to do is set the receiver on your raft to the Balboa Island code. And after you get, like, far enough away from the island, it essentially despawns, and then it'll, like, respawn in a new location. And so you can keep coming back here, I believe, um, and, like, re-harvesting the bears that respawn on a set timer anyway. Or, I think, finding more more bees and honey. So that is always a possibility, just leaving and returning and force respawning all of the resources on this island. Um, potentially even the animals as well. Um, but a lot of that stuff we're going to find in other places too, so... Don't necessarily need to do that, but it's nice to have the option. Um, I'm looking for that goat. Definitely was not this way. I'm already lost. So, let's see, it was, what was the first relay station we went to? It was number four, right? So that was this way, and then the goat was just up the hill leading to four. So, this way? Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna have to go back to the raft with it while carrying it. And hopefully no bears attack us while we're carrying it, because we'd have to set it down in order to fight. Which means it might scamper away. And then I wouldn't be able to find it, so... Let's get rid of any bears that we see along the way. There's the spear. Grab another one. I'm gonna get hit. That's okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. Just one more bear dealt with. And then I believe the goat was right up here. So let's get our launcher ready. We have four canisters, so... We have four attempts at catching it, but hopefully I don't miss, because again, these canisters are kind of hard to make right now because of the explosive powder that's required, so hopefully I don't miss. There's the goat. Let's take a minute to line up our shot. Cool looking goat, too, I think. They have different color patterns, and that one looks kind of cool. All right, so as soon as he stops, I'm going to shoot. Okay, he's not going to stop, so I'm just going to have to line up a good shot. Oh, don't jump over the edge there, buddy. And... Shoot. <gasps> oh, I missed! Damn it. I just got to be patient. Make sure I get a good shot. That probably would have been fine, but... There we go. We got him. What is that? It's an old old canister. I can't pick it back up, so... All right, bit of a shame that it took two instead of one. But we have two other canisters left. I can potentially get two more animals from other places, so... Um, I can name this goat, too. I don't know what's a good name for a goat. I just think of, like, Diablo or something. It's another goat name. Tom Brady? That's the goat, right? Um... That's what I'm going to do. Name him that. Get more goats. Name him other things. 
But that's a good name for a goat, I guess. I gotta find my way back. A little hard to see with these goat horns in my face, but I should have walked this island enough to be able to just get back even without seeing, you would think. So I think it's right over there. Right? Yes. Okay, cool. Now we're getting back right as the sun sets too, so good timing. Nice, beautiful sunset through the trees as we return for the final time. Getting really low in hunger and thirst. And I can't eat or drink while I'm carrying the goat, so let me just quickly get him up in the cage. I'll need to expand the, uh, whatever you want to call it, fence, the pen, I guess would be the word. Um, I'll need to expand the pen so that I can make more grass. Um, make more room to put grass in and have more animals in and all that kind of stuff, but so right now we have five animals in a four grass pen, so we need to make that a little bigger to accommodate the goats, but um, let's quickly shear these guys because they're ready. And let's water all our crops and grab our egg. Drink some of the leftover water. Um, Alright, well, let's empty out our inventory now that we're back. Nothing goes in there. Got lots of leather. Great amount of food. Uh, let's learn our... Oh, huh. oh, there it is. Biofuel refiner so that I can feel safe about getting rid of the blueprint. Um, I know that every time I've come back to the raft, the shark is attacked. I just haven't stopped him every time, so I'm sure he's destroyed some tiles. I'll need to walk around and figure out what all he's destroyed um, in the next section, but for right now, I just want to get everything situated here. Let's get our thirst topped up. Refill that, refill these. And refill our hunger. Alright, so let's see how we did. Um, okay, awesome. I know that we used quite a few planks uh, cooking things while we were like in between trips, but we still came away with quite a lot of planks, which is cool. Uh, we've got a ton of leather there, a lot of dirt, which is awesome. So we're going to need to make some more grass um, grass plots, whatever they're called, for our new animal and any new animals we get going forward. Um, I am going to need this small crop plot, actually, for something in the next section. So I'm just going to throw it down there for now to save an inventory space, and then we'll, we'll pick it up and move it later. Um, Got our one spear, we got lots of arrows, and a bow with about half their ability. Um, some seagulls. Grab them real quick. One more. Boom. Wow, hitting two in a row. That's doesn't happen a lot. I don't know why I'm so bad at hitting those seagulls, but good source of food there. Um, and we'll leave our sweep net here. In case we find an island with more bees. I'm just going to get rid of these extra feathers. Start turning some of this into trash cubes, maybe. Again, in the next section, we're going to start looking for... Trading Post Islands. So the more trash cubes we have, the better. Uh, these feathers are not a great source of trash cubes. Like, it takes a lot of feathers to make one trash cube. But they're basically free, since I just keep getting them, and I don't really have any other uses for them at the moment. Um, besides arrows, of which I already have a ton, so just going to put them in there to get something out of them rather than just throwing them away. Um, gonna need to do a little organizing at some point too, but that machete can go in there. And then, yeah, that all looks pretty good to me, so I might cook these chicken legs as raw drumsticks for the hell of it. And then... I think that just about does it. So uh, we explored all of Balboa Island here. We got all the relay stations. We got all the blueprints. We got the code to the next story island, which is Caravan Town. So why don't we put that in just real quick? It is 
5640. So 56 4 D. And then, okay, there it is over there. So when we go to leave, we're going to have to sail like up and around and start, we'll start heading towards it. But then along the way, we're going to want to stop off at Trading Post Islands and we're going to want to build out our raft. Definitely get the biofuel processor set up going to fuel our engines. So all of that's going to be for the next section. We're going to leave it here for now. So pretty awesome island. We got a lot of stuff out of it. Very cool to see. And um, yeah, we'll pick it up here next time and, and have some more fun stuff to do. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope to see you in the next one. Peace.